When I moved into 225th Street in February of 2010, I had no idea what the next few months would hold. I knew nothing about the history of the house except that it was built in 1924. The neighborhood seemed peaceful and quiet and offered no indication of the horrors that plagued those who had lived in the house. Many decades earlier, the man who built the house brought about his own violent death and with that event, doors were opened. Some doors are better left closed. With the death of the original owner, a curse was brought upon the house. Death was visited upon the house, and in the decades that followed, Family after family was tormented by paranormal activity and visions and nightmares of a hooded figure, and in some cases, their own personalities and behavior morphed into something unrecognizable even to themselves. One former owner attempted to murder his stepson in the house. Another individual moved into the house and complained of hearing footsteps in the attic at night. He'd go to investigate, but no one was there. As he experienced more paranormal activity, his personality became negatively affected to the point of self-destruction. He purchased a motorcycle and began a downward spiral. His behavior became careless and reckless, mimicking someone with a death wish. And once again, death was visited upon 225th Street. But it didn't end there. Several years later, another man who had lived in the house went missing from his home in Ohio and was later found deceased several states away. And even with an autopsy, no cause of death was able to be determined. These are just a few stories contained in the book. There are many, many more, and they are backed by documentation from police reports, coroner reports, newspaper articles, death certificates, and government documents. And although the stories contained throughout the book are horrific, and they are true, I tried to also share hope. For if there is an ultimate evil in this world, and there is, there must also be an ultimate good. And through that good, there is hope for deliverance.